I will control myself. Everybody calm down. I'm not going to start singing. Uh, you know him for his super hit, like Superman. 100 years, among others, but Five for Fighting is also using his music now to raise awareness about the war in Ukraine. He traveled to the country. He recorded this music video with a Ukrainian orchestra. Take a listen. Great grandson of the Holocaust, an eastern heart the West has lost. Nail or carry up his cross, I don't know. But he's got everyone thinking. Yeah, he's got all of us thinking. Can one man? Something about this guy and a piano and I fall apart. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Joining us live now from Los Angeles, the man behind Five for Fighting, John Androsik. John, what a pleasure. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Raul. Good morning, San Diego. Yeah, buddy. You know, I'm, I'm sure you've heard that before. Like, I listen to your voice when you're singing with those piano, and like, it's like instant goosebumps. You, you must hear that from people all the time, right? Like, what, what is that about that ability? I don't know, you know, I've been blessed to kind of do this, you know, for the last 20 years, realize my childhood passion. Um, just looking at those images kind of brings, you know, that whole experience back and and to be able to kind of shine the spotlight on on kind of heroes and, and people showing incredible fortitude around the world has been truly a blessing. So I just look at my job is to shine the spotlight where it belongs. And you do it beautifully. Uh, you, you, you got involved in what's going on over there in Ukraine. You visited that country. Why did you feel that was something you needed to do? I actually started with Afghanistan. I'd written a song crit critical of the withdrawal from Afghanistan called Blood in My Hands that became a song very important to our Afghan veterans. And I started working with these NGOs evacuating Afghans, one called Save Our Allies, who rescued 16,000 Afghan allies in nine days. Wow. And they moved many of their operations to Ukraine. And I'd written the song, Can One Man Save the World, about the fortitude of the Ukrainian people and had the opportunity to go to Kyiv and, as you saw, play um, this song with an incredible Ukrainian orchestra kind of on hollowed ground. That airport there hangers the plane that is the symbol of Ukrainian independence that you see that's blown up that Putin blew up in the outset of the war. So to put that orchestra in front of that symbol of Ukrainian independence really, I think, illustrated the fortitude of those people. Every member of that orchestra had either had a family member killed, oh, wow. lost, or on the front line. So I wish every American could have stood in my shoes. It certainly was surreal and gave me a sense of how freedom that we have in this country um, is important. And I think sometimes we take it for granted. The, the video is spectacular, just the, the, the juxtaposition of, of the destruction with the, the beauty of the orchestra and your voice and the piano there was really something special. Uh, in terms of those musicians, there's such beautiful art in Ukraine uh, and you see kind of that it's just so much of it is getting destroyed. Was that kind of what, what drew you? Because you bring the beauty that is art, whether it's music or, or paintings, and you see it all just kind of being blown up for lack of a better term. It was surreal to have this communal experience with orchestra in this this horribly sad place, but to see the fortitude of these these folks and these were not soldiers, you know, these were grandparents, these were um, bartenders, these were, you know, our translator was a 19 year old girl who was a bartender who joined the army and and remember, the, the folks in Ukraine remember the yoke of the Soviet Union. Mm. So they have that experience. and just to see their their strength. There was a woman outside sweeping the sidewalks of a blown up apartment building. And that just symbolized to me that you see why they're still in this war and that they're gonna fight um, till they win this war because they have that kind of, uh, that, that fortitude, that heart, that stoicism that I've never seen before in my life. And it was incredibly inspiring. It was incredibly heartbreaking, but we all have a role to play and if a song can raise awareness for their plight, um, 
so be it. And I look forward to going back to Ukraine and playing this song when they do win this war. Yeah, you, you know, sometimes it's, it's, you know, there's always a message in music and in art, but sometimes you just got to, like, hit people over the head with, with, with these messages that these songs mean something, that there is something behind what, what you're doing. Uh, is that kind of what we want? People, it's like, you could release the song without doing everything else you're doing. But this kind of puts an emphasis on it, right? I think so. Look, as a songwriter, you know, you look at the songs from the 60s and you hear the protest yeah, songs yep. and you get a sense of the times. And music has a unique way. I saw this with the concert for New York and Superman, how the song transcended and made a difference in ways I never could have imagined beyond fame and fortune and hit records. And I think if you have the passion for it, if, if you have groups of people sharing, writing songs, different viewpoints, you get a sense of the times in a way no other medium can. And, and I appreciate everybody who's written about Afghanistan, about Ukraine. Um, I think it's kind of our obligation to do that. Um, and hopefully more will join that. And it, it can lead to bigger things. I'm trying to put together a Live Aid concert for Ukraine to continue to raise the awareness. It's They're on a tipping point right now. And God help us if we allow Putin to devour Ukraine. I think as someone who spent my whole life playing for our soldiers and the Gary Sinise Foundation yes, here, sir. The last thing we want are our soldiers on the ground over there. So I think we all have to do it the best we can to support these folks who are, are fighting the front lines. And that is these amazing people in Ukraine. Gary Sinise has been here on our show on this desk and the work he's done is, is spectacular. You're kicking off a, a tour across California next month. Uh, what is that going to entail and what can people expect when they come out? Well, just got off the road with the Bare Naked Ladies on a big rock tour and now we're taking it back to the string quartet, the intimate shows. So we'll be at the belly up on the 17th. We love playing the belly up. It's so yeah. much fun. And uh, I bring the string quartet, amazing players. So now we really go intimate and tell the stories behind the song. We'll be playing Can One Man Save the World with kind of a video of our experience there and the audio of the Ukrainian orchestra so people can get wow. a sense of what I heard that day. But of course, Superman 100 years, bring the kids. It's a family affair. We always <laughs> do a song for our troops. And a lot of my family lives in La Jolla. A lot of friends down there. My boy Landon Donovan down there. Yes, sir. So uh, it's always it's always a family affair, and we always have a great time at the Belly Up. Landon's a regular on this show too, John. I'm starting to think you're the really? one that needs to be in here performing live for us. I mean, I'm just saying, all your buddies hang out with us. You know, it's time. You know, maybe me and Landon will come do a duet. Oh, he did my sing goodness. with me once. Not sure you want to hear that, <laughs> but I want to hear that. <laughs> Uh, listen, your show is sold out in San Diego. Uh, I'm sure you're planning on coming back at some point. It is on Sunday, um, September 17th at the Belly Up in Solana Beach. This is the cool part. John, they told me you recorded a special performance just for our Fox 5 viewers. What can you tell us? You know, kind of, it, we're going to air it in a little bit to so tell us what, what this is all about. Well, it's kind of where I started, you know, it's Superman and um, and without Superman, we wouldn't be talking. And it's a song that was passed on by every record company and nobody wanted to play it. It wow, just shows really? you how sometimes, you know, life is 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 a tightrope. And uh, I still enjoy playing it. We're coming up, you know, in a couple of weeks on 9-11 and certainly playing the song around 9-11 yes, always you know, brings back some memories. So I, I figured that that would be the appropriate one. And all my love to all of you down in San Diego. Uh, you are my second family down there, and I oh. can't wait to get down. And Raul, I hope you come to the show. You always have a spot on our guest I list. I appreciate and, that. Uh, hopefully we'll see you as well. John, thank you. And I'm telling you, the goosebumps, it's because like when the Superman song, it was it was the Superman song. We all loved it, and, and I was singing because I love the hype. And then when 9-11 hit, boy, that song is just, you never hear it the same again. Uh, John Andrasik, we thank you. Uh, we appreciate you. Thanks for your time. Stay tuned here on Fox 5, a special performance from Five for Fighting coming up later this hour. Thanks again, John. Take care, buddy. All right.